Welcome back guys. So I know you guys are familiar with that pretty velvet ruby red that uh, Dodge has on a lot of their cars, the Chrysler uh, Chargers, the Challengers, the Rams. Well, the PRV is actually NRV in the Sherwin Williams. So it's kind of funny inside the jam, they have PRV, but we were replacing this bedside. So we had to bed off the vehicle. And I already have been using NRV when I do these colors because it matches a lot better than PRV, but I found this inside the bed on the front of the uh, front panel here, NRV. So I looked up the PRV because that's the code that's in the jam, but I never usually use that color because it don't match. So it was the first time I've done a truck where I've seen that code inside there actually being the NRV. So I guess they must have a misprint inside the trucks to uh, these Dodge Rams, because I guess the code is actually NRV in the Sherwin, but it's weird is there's two chips for the PRV, they don't match. And then the NRV is the one that actually matched. So when I looked it up in the computer, it shows that the PRV is an older color in the Sherwin Williams line. And I don't know if that's just a uh, misprint or they have it documented wrong, but I know I've done this color years back in the PPG and it has the dye in the actual clear. So I'm gonna shoot this one today and show you guys how this NRV match is really nice. And it's not even a three stage and how vivid it looks because they use a black base coat and how I cheat it using the sealer because you guys know we have that real deep black sealer. So let's get into shooting this one and uh, show you how I do it with the uh, NRV PRV. All right, that's the sealer applied now on the bedside and on the tailgate. And that's the ground coat for the two-stage formula for the NRV. So this is it here sprayed out. I have a card and this is the one I use all the time for the PRV. And this is the two-stage formula of it. So they do have a, a three-stage uh, formula for that color. But this one here is the two-stage and it really, really matches well. So this is the one that I go with because you put down this black sealer base coat and it's almost like the old base coat candies from House of Colors. They use a black base 
and then they put their transparent metallic over the top of the black which gives you a candy look almost like a fake candy look so that's what they're actually doing here with this sherwin williams with this uh, nrv two-stage formula so let's go ahead and put the red on it and uh, get it finished up here and i'll show you how much of a beautiful color it is even in the two-stage with the way they put this black down and it makes it really reflect with the metallics being that that black is underneath it so let's go ahead and get into it All right, you guys see how nice that color looks while it's still wet there before it flashes off. You can see it's dry here, but right there it's real vivid. And this color really pops in the sun. And when they put it over that black, it's got the perfect shade to uh, have that color match perfectly the way they did that with that two-stage formula. So I'm really liking the way they did that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on another two coats. I'm not gonna show it to you guys as I'm doing that. And then we'll come in and I'll show it to you before I clear it. But that's the nice two-stage formula they have for that NRV. And I'm still not sure why they have PRV inside the jam on these. Uh, so if any of you guys know why they do that and why they're using both formulas for this color, give me some insight, any of you Sherwin guys out there. So let's go ahead and get this thing finished up. All right, guys, we got it all covered, and you guys can see it definitely lightened up after those three coats. So on this one here, I was using the 3M gun with the one, two head on it, and I went ahead and put three medium wet coats. I don't really control coat too much on these reds. There's really no need for it on these. So this one here now is all covered, and it's gonna pop real hard when we hit it with this clear. And we're gonna break out the old DV1. It's been a minute since I've cleared with it. But we brought them back out and we're gonna clear this one with the DV1 and this is with the C1 on it. So we'll be clearing this one at 24 PSI with the 1.4 uh, head and it's gonna be with the C1 cap on it. So let's go ahead and get this thing cleared up, see how it pops. All right, so that's definitely a beautiful color. And I know you guys have seen it out on the road on some of the Challengers, the Chargers, the Rams. And I think the 300 even has this on it. So really beautiful, vivid color. And that's that uh, DV1 laid it down nice. So I haven't sprayed that one in a while. And I'll tell you, that has to be the best atomizing gun that I've seen since I've been painting. It breaks it up the finest out of all the guns I've ever used. It definitely is a little slower, but it breaks up the clear so fine and just lays it down beautifully. So I love that gun and you guys know it. But when I'm doing a lot of painting, that's why I picked up that Iwata because it lays it down fast. But uh, it also lays it down flat, but it's definitely a little bit faster than a DV-1 is. But I definitely do love that DV-1 gun 
when I really want to lay one down. And that's even with the 1.4 I'm using, it breaks it up so fine. So I can't imagine spraying it with anything else because I don't know if it would lose it all in the air. So definitely came out nice. And I uh, hope you guys like this one, but that's the NRV. Don't get confused sometimes with that PRV. I'm using the NRV with the two-stage formula. You guys know I did a spray out on it and this matches really well to that factory color. So if you guys are spraying Sherwin, check out the NRV and we'll see you on the next one.